Hello YouTube, this is Kristen. I'm back again with another video and this time I am going to talk about my travel sketch journaling kit. I am getting ready for a trip in the next uh, week or so and I just wanted to um, kind of give you an idea of what I plan to bring with me. I have a watercolor kit, I have some pens, and I have two journals two journal covers with um, actually more than two journals, but this one is my actual sketch journal. I pre-decorated the first page. This one is all watercolor paper and um, at the back end, I've just written down my tools, my paint palettes, and um, that is because I like to have, I like to have a record of what my palette is at any given time so that if I ever lose the information, I, can, I have multiple places to go back and look at it. So this is one of my handmade sketchbooks that I talked about in the um, previous post. This one has gel printed covers but it's made the same way with the um, stitching on the edge and these are just glued and taped with double stick tape down. So um, I do have it in a Sojourner leather cover that I got fairly recently and this is in the A6 size. And I'll take care of that later. The, my second one is um, more of my journal journal. This one is really for sketches, paintings, um, any kind of arty stuff. This one will be a little bit different. It will be more for just my travel journal notes. And um, eventually, after we get back, I'll add photographs. And if I get ephemera while we're traveling, I will... Um, also put that in here and this one I did make myself this is a standard um, this is also a sojourner cover but this is a standard size which is the same as any traveler's notebook like from the traveler's company and um, I handmade this little journal with um, fewer pages than a normal travel journal, journal by Traveler's Company. They do make a short trip version, and this is actually that size, even though we're going to be gone for a week. Um, I think this will be fine because there will be um, two page spreads available per day if I need that. And I've pre-decorated it with <clears throat> this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I got um, last time I was in Hawaii. Um, this is a scrapbook paper from um, a pack. I don't remember the, the maker. And then these were cards that were also in that pack. So I did pre-decorate with a few stickers, but it'll, as you'll see, I have more available to me. So that's my um, my travel journal, just for travel notes. This is my actual um, weekly vertical planner, which I don't use for planning. I, re I basically use for daily notes. And it looks like this. It's the Traveler's Company weekly vertical version. Um, so that's in there. And then I also have a card file. This is a Traveler's Company product that has all these um, little plastic pockets. And I saw somebody else use this uh, for holding stickers and I thought that would be fun for travel. So I have some travel and kind of um, tropical themed stickers in here. So some of those might make it into my journal we'll see but that's what's in there I have those three 
booklets in this cover. And then um, this is my um, watercolor kit. And this is actually something that I made myself it, from indigo dyed fabrics that I had in my stash. And I followed a couple of different tutorials, but I made up my own. Um, it's a different size than the tutorials that I use. And uh, I don't have any directions on how to make it. So I can't recommend that, but it was kind of fun to make. This is the first one I've ever made and it's a little small, a little smaller than I had planned, but it works fine. And actually I'm gonna show you what it's based on. It's inspired by these um, art toolkit um, folio kind of things, which are made the same way. So I put in the pockets the same. It's just a different size. There's actually a small version, like about that big, that was my original one. And I got the bigger one and I wanted something in, in the middle. So that's how I ended up making this one. And what I keep in here is a water brush. I have a couple of um, permanent black markers. I have a pencil, a mechanical pencil, and a white gel pen. And um, these are mainly because I normally sketch with fountain pens, but if I'm going someplace and I don't want to worry about fountain pen ink at, at the time, then I'll have these for just, um, you know, they're good basic pens to have. So I, in here I have three art toolkit palettes. And the reason I have three is they're three different sizes. Um, and that's because I'm going to be using one which is my biggest one. This is new. And um, this is called the Folio Palette. And if this, is, this is actually double the size of the regular Travel Palette, which I've been using these for years. This is the size of a business card, basically. And so this palette here is about twice the size of that. Um, anyway, I've been using this size for years and I, I've i loved that one, but I did wanna try having more colors available to me. This one here holds, um, the way I've configured it holds 14 palettes. And believe me, these, they don't look like they hold much paint, but it's actually a lot of paint. I can fill one of these and use it for years of sketching um, because the paint really goes far. I use mostly Daniel Smith, Daniel Smith watercolors and they're very high quality and they last a long, long time. So Art Toolkit, in addition to making the three sizes of palettes, they also make the pans that fit them. And they have different sizes. This, uh, these two are actually considered mixing pans because of the white surface. Um, and I don't actually really need those because I don't use, I don't do a, a whole lot of mixing when I'm out traveling. Um, but as far as the regular pans go, they have kind of the the regular sized, and then the little mini, and then the double. And um, I don't use this one as much either. I really like these two sizes the most, the mini pans. So on this one, this one has 14 right now. And if, of course, if I doubled it, I could get 28 in there of the little tiny ones. And then in the bigger one, sometimes I actually do for a couple of slots, I'll double up and have a few more colors, but this is the way I have it set up right now. And with this one, I was able to fit in some more colors by using little mini pans. And like I said, these watercolors will last a long time. Um, I don't have to fill them, refill them very often. This one is the tiniest one and it's called the Demi palette. So this one is half the size of the pocket palette. 
and it's adorable. It's so cute. Um, but it also, you could put the regular size pans along with these if you wanted to. I just set it up with 12 of the minis, which makes it just so easy to put in your pocket if you really want to. Um, now these have different colors, you know, a lot of the same colors, but some of the things are a little bit different from palette to palette. And, um, what I've done in here was because like in this one, some of those darker colors are really hard to tell apart. So until you learn your palette, because things got moved around, um, it's nice to be able to have a little map that tells you what's what. And I also have, of course, the little mini cards that go with each one that tell me what colors I have. On this trip, my daughter is gonna be visiting with us, and so I made her an extra palette so she can do some sketching while she's with us. So that's the watercolor palettes. And then in here, I have the pens. I really love to use uh, fountain pens when I'm sketching and journaling. And sometimes it's hard to keep it to a minimum. Um, this is a little Twisby Mini that I have uh, a very faint turquoise blue color that I really love for doing lines, which is actually what I used for the lines in here. I got that trick from Liz Steele, and I'll put her uh, information in the description box. She's where one place I've learned a lot about watercolor. Um, so anyway, I love this pen. I brought several other um, turquoise inks because I always think of turquoise well turquoise is one of my favorite colors but I always think of it when I'm traveling to a tropical location this is my Twisby Eco turquoise and it has diatramentous document turquoise ink so that's what um this is water resistant this one is not water resistant I also have a Caveco sport with um, the Caveco um, Paradise Blue cartridge in it. That is also not water resistant. And then in this one I have, this is my Lamy Joy, and I have um, Lamy, I think it's just called Turquoise, and it's also a cartridge. The Mini is this very, very pale turquoise. The Caveco is that turquoise. The document is the darkest, it's this one. It's almost not even what I would call turquoise, but that's what they call it. And then the Lamy is this one right here, and it's a, a nice bright turquoise. So those are those pens. I also have my Pilot Falcon, which is a favorite. Very, it has an extra fine nib. It's very nice for sketching. And I have in here um, Pilot Uroshizuku Takesumi ink, which is water soluble. And I like to sketch with it and then paint over it and let the, the lines bleed somewhat. That's really fun. So I brought that. I have um, in my pink Twisby, I brought um, Diatramentus Document Fuchsia. So that's also water soluble. I mean, water resistant, sorry. So I've these two water resistant pens. Also this one, this is just, um, this is a Twisby Eco White and it has Diatramentus Document Black. So I have three pens that are water resistant so I can sketch with them without any problem. Um, this one is one of my favorite pens for sketching. This is a Sailor Fude pen. And uh, the Fude nib is a bent nib. Let's see if you can see that. 
It's a bent nib. And it's really fun to experiment with. I use it for getting variable lines in my sketches and it's it's just really cool to use. Um, I just filled it with some document black ink, so that will also be a water resistant pen. And then I have another Rotring pen in here, just uh, because you never know when you wanna have an easy pen. And then I have, I have three water brushes with me. This is my favorite, it's a Pentel water brush with a, just a basic, I don't know, I think they call it a medium brush tip. It's kind of the mid-size. And then I found these two and I brought them because uh, if my daughter's gonna be watercoloring, we'll, we'll need some extras, but this is a larger tip and this one is the, um, let's see if I can read. This is a Kuratake water brush. And this is, I think that this is also a Kuratake, but it doesn't say. So I'm not sure, but it's it's a shorty, which when you post it becomes long enough for me to use. And my daughter has small hands, so that would also work for her. And I think that the tips on both of these two are pretty similar. So we have water brushes, we have lots of pens, we have our books, and I think it's all going to fit pretty well in my backpack along with a few other things. In here I also have a couple of clips to hold down pages in the wind, like that. I also have my um, one of my clear rulers, which is handy for lines if you want to do lines. And then I have a, um, a tweezer because the, um, the stickers, when you put them in these books, they're really hard to get out. That's the only thing about this is it can be tricky to, to get these out of the little pockets. So a set of tweezers just is helpful with that. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention is um, I like to carry a little watercolor towel. This is uh, just a piece of really thin t-shirt material. I've been, I use these things all the time and I almost never wash them, but when I do, they come out just fine and um, I can keep on reusing them. Um, I have various sizes of these all cut up, so that one will go in here. You can also, of course, just use a, a paper towel, which I have in here. And the reason I have these in here is because um, I've traveled with fountain pens in airplanes many, many times, and I've never once had an issue with them. But I'm always waiting for the day when that happens. So what I like to do is give them a little wrap in a paper towel and keep them in a Ziploc and then I can travel feeling assured that nothing will go awry as far as my pens go and that fits right in there. So um, I have my two journals. Oh, I forgot this one. Let's see. I have my two journals, I have my watercolor um, kit, and I have my pens. And so that is everything that I will be taking as far as journaling goes. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And when I get back from my trip, I will do another um, video and maybe show you some images from the sketchbooks. All right. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.